Hello friends and welcome back. In this lecture, we will solve our second exercise on methods. So this is the exercise. I want you to write a program that prints the prime numbers between two numbers. For example, if I want to print the prime numbers between 1 and 50, this will be the result, all right? Now you already know how to find the prime numbers and how to print prime numbers. So the idea behind this exercise is to divide it into multiple reusable methods. So I don't want you to write all the code inside the main method. I want you to divide the program into multiple methods and use these methods to solve this exercise. So pause the video and try to do this. Now let me tell you this. If you weren't able to do this exercise, it's perfectly fine. Because this is the first time you are thinking about dividing a program into multiple methods. And now we will see how to do this. So let's see what we are doing in this program. First of all, we are looping over some numbers, starting from 1 for example, and ending at 50. So we have a starting point and an ending point, alright? And while we are looping over these numbers, we want to check if there is a prime number. So if there is a prime number, we are going to print it. So we have two functionalities. We want to loop over the numbers and print the prime numbers, and we want to find the prime numbers. So we will have a method that prints the prime numbers and we will have another method that finds the prime numbers. And we will use the method that finds the prime numbers in the method that prints the prime numbers. Alright? So let's go to IntelliJ. So as you can see, we have three methods. The main method, a method that is called isPrime, and a method that is called printPrimeBetween. As you can see in the main method, I'm calling printPrimeBetween1 and 50. Let me run the program. And this is the output. All the prime numbers between 1 and 50 are printed. Of course, this over here can be anything that you want. Let's print the prime numbers between 10 and 30. Run the program again. And this is the output. So as you can see, once we wrote this method, we can use it with whatever arguments that we want. So this is what I meant by reusable methods. Alright? And this is one benefit of using methods. We can reuse methods easily. Now let me close this. And let's talk about these two methods. This method is called isPrime and it returns a boolean and it takes an integer as a parameter. So we can predict that this method will return a true if this parameter over here is a prime number. And it will return false if it is not a prime number. Writing the code of this method is very easy. And you already know how to write the code of this method because we previously found the prime numbers, alright? Now what about the print prime between? As you can see, this method does not return anything. Because in this method, we will simply print the prime numbers. It takes two parameters, the start variable and the end variable. And we will loop starting from the start until we reach the end. And each time, you will use the isPrime method to check if the number is a prime number or not. If it is a prime number, we will print it. So I want you to pause the video and try to write the code of the isPrime method and the print prime between. So let's go over the code. We will start with the isPrime method. So as we did before, I'm looping starting from 2 up until n over 2. So this loop over here iterates over the numbers that can be divisors for the number n. And each time I'm checking if the number i is a divisor for the variable n. If this is true, this means that n is not a prime number. So immediately I'm going to return false. So if this statement was executed, we will stop executing the method and we will return false. Now let's suppose that n is a prime number. This means that this statement will never be executed. And at some point, this condition over here will be false, so we will finish executing the loop. So this code over here will be executed, so we will return it true. Alright? Of course, your implementation for this method can be different, and there is no problem with that. What's important is to return it true if the number is a prime number, and to return false if the number is not a prime number. Okay? So now let's have a look at the print prime between. Over here, I'm looping, starting from the start and ending at the end. Each time, I'm increasing i by 1, right? So we are looping over all the numbers between start and end. And each time, I'm calling the isPrime method. And I'm passing i as an argument, right? So if i is a prime number, this method will return true. So this means that this if statement will be executed. So I'm going to print i concatenated with a space. Now suppose that i is not a prime number. This means that this method will return false, so we will not execute this if statement. In other words, we are not going to print i. We will increment i and then we will check the next number, alright? And this will go on until this condition is no longer true, and this means that we are finished executing this loop over here. 
And this is it. So as you can see, we wrote two methods that are reusable. And the main method, we are only calling the print prime between method. And as you can see, both of these methods are reusable. For example, you can send this method to your friend and he will be able to use it to find if a number is a prime or not. And using this method is very easy because the name of the method and the return type of the method and the parameter of the method are clear. And this is very important when creating methods. The name of the method should indicate what this method does. Alright? So this is it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.